This is the story about three strong women, also known as the tale of a motorcycle, an ear, and a basketball. One sister dreamed of a school on a mountaintop, and two who worked at the school helped keep learning in the community. Sister Damon was a driving force in co-founding the university at Carmen Pampa with Dick Leahy on the Feast of St. Francis in 1993. Rise up! Hermana, dame un nacido, la mejor mamá que he tenido. Gracias a ella he estudiado y estoy ahorita como estoy, ¿no? Y siempre agradezco a Dios, a mi madre que me ha enseñado a estudiar y ahora soy profesional. Sister Damon rode her beloved Suzuki all across the difficult mountainous terrain where she had been living since 1980. At that time, many young people were leaving the community to follow their dreams and find work. But Sister saw a need for veterinarians, nurses, and teachers to stay in the campo and the community agreed. Though not everyone initially agreed with Sister Damon's vision of a co-ed school, the community worked with Sister Damon to build the university at Carmen Pampa. After 25 years, Carmen Pampa boasts five majors, a total of more than 600 graduates, including equal representation of women graduates two campuses, and opportunities for study abroad in the United States. Moreover, as of 2013, 91% worked in jobs that support Bolivia's rural area. While the journey has not been easy, Carmen Pampa is now deeply rooted in a community that has grown from the sisters' hard work. However, without Sister Damon, things might have been very different. At a time when the community was unsure of who to trust for outside funding and support, the community saw Sister Damon as trustworthy. Her work to secure funding helped Carmen Pampa to rise up. At the same time, other sisters also helped make the school what it is today, including Sister Jean and Sister Chris. Learning together. In the Franciscan tradition, education isn't complete without a spiritual background, and that's where Sister Jean excels. After arriving at Carmen Pampa in 2003, Sister Jean focused not only on teaching, but also on pastoral work. Her favorite class is Human Christian Formation, designed for young people discerning what they want from their lives. In reflecting on her ministry, she says, We cannot lose compassion with these young people. The pastoral dimension is so important. Every once in a while, I see that our efforts are making a difference, and I can feel the presence of God very directly. Becoming Free Sister Chris, our third strong woman, arrived at Carmen Pampa in the 1980s. She is an example of how much a little sisterly vision adds to the school, as seen in her pastoral presence and her many construction projects. With a playful spirit and attention to building community among students, Sister Chris once obtained money for a new roof, and for some reason asked the money to be put in her name. In time, it became apparent that the money hadn't gone to a roof but a basketball court. On an unrelated note, it's worth mentioning that Sister Damon's trusty motorcycle disappeared at some point after she fell off it. We're not naming any names, but someone apparently gave it away while Sister Damon was recuperating. All has been forgiven. Sé que el futuro quizás sea lejano o uno lo vea como si fuese las estrellas, pero así con la oración también, con la palabra de Dios, he comprendido que las estrellas también pueden cambiar su curso. Y eso es lo que pienso hacer. Quiero cambiar mi pueblo en base a eso. Por eso estoy aquí, 
Porque la UAC te enseña eso. Carmen Pampa en FMS. The school loves their sisters. And FMS celebrates them as leaders, educators, and women religious. Since 1998, Carmen Pampa and FMS have worked together. During this time, 14 FMS missioners have lived as a continuous presence on campus, lending a unique ministry of presence and an appreciation for their Franciscan charism. Ministries have included campus pastoral ministry, meat production, child literacy, English classes. However, each missioner brings their own unique gifts to campus and offers what they can. Jean Lechtenberg offered her nursing and health education skills. Lee Lechtenberg taught English and art. Their legacy lives on in a popular modern library and in a mural of Brother Sun and Sister Moon that Lee painted with his son in one of the campus chapels. A new generation of FMS missioners maintain a Franciscan presence inspired by our patron saint and our beloved sisters. They are also inspired by the students, faculty, and the staff that surround them on campus. Upon returning from two years of service at Carmen Papa, Tom Little reflected on getting to know a student named Carlos. He, he was in his third year uh, of the VET program uh, for All Saints and All Souls Day. He invited me and another volunteer to, to go to his home hometown, um, stay with his family, and kind of show us how they, how they did those things did those celebrations you could just see that they they loved him so much and and really like enjoyed the idea of like him bringing people back with with him to, to his hometown and then being able to show off kind of um where he came from and then like you know this is my son and he does such great things in a world that is often divided communities need places like carmen pampa where people meet learn together and become free in turn places like carmen pampa need the contributions of many kinds of talent Whether these talents are represented by a motorcycle, an ear, a basketball, or something else, all gifts are welcome. All give us reason to rejoice. Today, FMS salutes the Mujeres Valientes of Carmen Papa, past, present, and future. Gracias, hermanas. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your partnership.